General Secretary, Deputy Chair, Deputy Leaders, and the other officers of the great Jamaica Labour Party, President of the Senate, Mayors, Members of Cabinet, the Speaker, Members of Parliament, Councillors, Councillors Caretakers, Constituents Caretakers, Former Prime Minister Bolden, our party trustee, Mrs. Eldermeyer Shearer, representing the Sangster family. Young Mr. Sangster, and I notice the mayor is here as well. And representing the Seattle family, member of parliament for West Kingston, Mr. Desmond Mackenzie, and as well as deputy leader, and representing the Bustamante contingent would be the president general of the Bustamante Industrial Trade Union. <coughs> Special invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very pleasant good evening. We are gathered here to celebrate, and to celebrate 76 years of service to the Jamaican people by this noble organization, christened the Jamaica Labor Party. On the 8th of July, 1943, Sir Alexander and some visionary men and women gathered at the War Theatre to launch this movement. Included in those, happily Prime Minister, was my dear father, Aspid Natalia. At the end of the day, Buster Mantle was elected leader, Harold Allen from Portland, the first chairman of the party, and Lyndon Newman from St. Thomas its first general secretary. Newland, thank you sir. Thank you Mr. Minister of <laughs> The Jamaica Labour Party since then has been known for its work in education. In 1945, it was the Jamaica Labour Party led by Prime, um, Premier Bustamante that started a comprehensive program of building classrooms within our elementary schools then so that we could take the lessons from under trees and into classrooms. In 1948, the University College of the West Indies was established, which is now the University of the West Indies, and I see a professor from that noble institution here with us. In 1953, there was another program of building some 126 primary schools across the length and breadth of Jamaica. In the 60s, some 50 new secondary schools were built. And well, some will remember that during that period, 70% of the common entrance spaces were reserved for primary school students. It was the Jamaica Labour Party that started the student loan. In 1971, we started the National School Feeding Program. In 82, the Heart Trust. In 83, compulsory attendance was established, led by Mavis Gilmore. In 86, space to treat with early childhood education. And in 86, the Leap Center to treat with some of our boys that were at the spotlight screaming blacks. The textbook book rental program, CAS was upgraded to UTEC. The JSA became CASE, and gladly I'm a proud graduate of that institution. And the police academy was established. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jamaica Labor Party rightfully can be known as the education party. And therefore, I would like to congratulate the leader for fulfilling his commitment at our 75th conference when he announced the JLP's education fund. And tonight, the fund is a wee bit short, and all you lovely people have been invited, and we expect you to take out your checkbooks and credit cards and make up the difference. I want you to feel welcome as we celebrate our 76th anniversary as a political movement that came to serve the people of Jamaica and not to be served. Happy birthday to members of the Jamaica Labour Party. Welcome to the launch of our Education Trust Fund and have yourself a wonderful day. 